Now, Mr. President, one final matter. After careful consideration, I've made the decision to oppose the House Democrats' slanted and unbalanced proposal for another commission to study the events of January the 6th. As everybody surely knows, I repeatedly made my views about the events of January the 6th very clear. I spoke clearly and left no doubt about my conclusions. Federal law enforcement have made at least 445 arrests and counting relating to crimes committed that day. Hundreds of those people have been charged. Law enforcement investigations are ongoing, and federal authorities say they expect to arrest at least 100 or so more. Bipartisan investigations are also underway and have been for months at the committee level here in the Senate. So there is, has been, and there will continue to be no shortage, no shortage of robust investigations by two separate branches of the federal government. So, Mr. President, it's not at all clear what new facts or additional investigation yet another commission could actually lay on top of existing efforts by law enforcement and Congress. The facts have come out, and they'll continue to come out. What is clear is that House Democrats have handled this proposal in partisan bad faith going right back to the beginning. From initially offering a laughably partisan starting point to continuing to insist on various other features under the hood that are designed to centralize control over the commission's process and its conclusions in democratic hands. I've been an outspoken critic about all of the episodes of political violence that our nation has seen over the past year. I support the strong existing investigations and justice for any American, any American who's broken the law.